This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, so this is our first, second session. Okay, in first session, we understood the investment project structure. Okay, investment program structure. So investment program structure, we are having investment program definition, top level position, and next level of positions. Okay, so I'll just recap whatever we have uh, completed in our previous session, and then we'll continue with the next topic. Okay. So my agenda is to explain uh, the concept of uh, project type, project uh, investment, project business case. Already we have completed organization structure in SAP, which we have already done how to access SAP that we have already done. So let me directly jump to the concept of project type. Okay, so we are having majorly two types of project one is the internally finance and another is the externally finance project internally finance we are having investment project and customer project cost project and then externally finance project we are having customer project so what is the difference between internally financed and externally financed internally finance project has to be financed by organization internally okay so whenever we are going to execute uh, this kind of project before executing we need to do the pre-investment analysis means we need to find whether this project will be beneficial for us or not so we are having a different way let's say apart from sap this sap you are having a specific process to do all these pre-investment analysis but if you check in your in your business okay that is a different approach like based on the npv net present value internal rate of return payback period okay these all things need to be calculated and based on based on that generally we used to find whether this project would be beneficial for us or not you can understand in different way for example <clears throat> let's say if you are if you are staying uh, on rent okay and you are paying some 10000 rupees of rent per month and uh, in same area you want to uh, buy one house okay so whatever the cost you are going to incur or whatever the investment you are going to do to buy this house you need to compare with your amount which you are paying as a rent okay so with reference to this rent uh, how much time it is taking to get back your invested amount and when this investment amount is going forward how it is going to be appreciated okay so these kind of analysis which we are doing we are calling it as a pre-investment analysis okay so if it is beneficial let's say if you are saying whatever the amount i am paying or as in rent better to pay is at an emi and whatever amount i am putting uh, as a in initial investment initial amount payment that i'll consider it will it will get increased as per the time okay so you can analyze in this way that is a straightforward but when we are coming to the corporate level, it is based on some terminology like NPV, net present value, and uh, internal rate of return, okay, present value, and payback period, all these things used to be calculated. But in case of externally finance project, because their customer is available, so directly you can find your expected revenue, okay, because whatever the amount of order, the contract, with reference to that estimated value, you can calculate your profit okay so you can you can find out so we are having two types of values there one is a planned and another is a actual so we'll understand all these terminology in upcoming sessions okay so here investment management is helping us to manage our proposals initial level proposals okay capital investment project that fall primarily under overhead and it is helping us to manage our maintenance program Primarily, it is helping us to control our budget, okay? And it is helping us to integrate the project system for the asset accounting also, because through uh, investment management profile, okay? So we'll check that one at a later stage. So we have taken this example in our previous session. Let's see, ABV Limited, this company is having some program of investment for five years, okay? And then this ABV Limited is having different divisions infrastructure project division robotics division and transformer division so <clears throat> when this program is going to be started higher management will ask to the individual head of the department head of the division to submit their proposals or their expected investment in these five years and their supporting also why you are going to do this 
investments okay so with reference to that we have created programs then top level positions and then all these divisions were be were created as a positions okay and under that we can create a proposal once this proposal is approved then we can transfer it to as a project okay so this only just overview we have gone through nothing else only just we have focused on master data so what is my master data my investment program and top level positions and next level of positions combinedly we are calling it as a investment program structure so this thing only we understood in our previous session <clears throat> you can understand with this slide okay this is an investment program which we plan to approve in a particular year so if this year is given this year is basically for the approval and this is by top level positions which is having next level of positions okay and we have created in the system how we can execute these transactions we have seen okay this business case is fine okay so there was one business case which we were discussing let's say uh, this is a godrej group which is having uh, the different subsidiaries godrej infotech godrej consumer product godrej properties godrej properties is having some vision and mission and to achieve this vision and mission of the organization we are doing some work right for example let's say if you have some target some vision and mission in your life so whatever the activities you will choose to perform that has to be aligned with vision or mission of the of your career for example if you have planned to crack ias okay so accordingly you need to understand what is the minimum qualification you need okay what is how you need to study or let's say if you want to plan for mbbs medical line so you need to choose bio okay so your mission based on that mission you are selecting the activities okay and in organization similarly when they have targeted something accordingly they need to choose their activities their operations their projects okay so let's say if some some uh, political party if they want to make some some uh, let's say in in public how they want to portray themselves so all the uh, all the activities need to be performed accordingly so it is same here in the organization also whatever the vision and mission they have decided accordingly they will perform their activities <clears throat> so some manufacturing companies uh, have, like immediately they will not go for some construction uh, work okay this is straightforward because manufacturing is a separate line so here also let's say when we are thinking of godrej properties they have decided some vision and mission according to understand their vision and mission they have one proposal Uh, they just want to construct their own office okay so this proposal will go for analysis then it will go for feasibility then approval rejection if it is approved then it will go for execution so as i have explained in my previous session this portion we are going to cover in investment management if you want to cover vision and mission and all these things this comes with their innovation management okay there is a separate module or you can manage it in ppm also okay <clears throat> sorry so here i have explained the component available and uh, then uh, what are the organization structure we are going to use i will share my recorded session to new participants in this batch okay and uh, you can just go through of it so you will be aligned with uh, sessions in upcoming uh, in the next session okay only one session we have completed last time so <clears throat> here uh, when we are discussing this i'll start from this organization structure okay so when we are creating master data in investment management that is a investment program investment program top position and next level of position we need to select a controlling area okay so then a specific controlling area it has to be created and uh, when we are selecting controlling area uh, aligned company code you can select okay and accordingly other mass organization structure you can select so here i have taken some some write up what is exactly controlling area stands company code how it is how we can visualize in our business okay and then 
will understand chart of account and fiscal year variant. These are the four things which we need to understand at initial level. Okay. So here in this example, in this example, this Godrej group can be a controlling area. Okay, you can say just to understand it conceptually, you can say this is a multiple companies can be assigned to controlling area. So these are your legal companies, Godrej Infotech, Godrej Consumer Product, Godrej Properties. So these companies can be assigned to your controlling area. However, this controlling area is part of CO and this company code is half part of FI. Okay, financial accounting and this is a part of controlling. So here when we are defining the organization structure, first we need to create a controlling area. Then we need to create a company code and next step we need to assign company codes to controlling area. This is the assignment. So here what controlling area is? SAP controlling area is an organization element which is responsible for management of cost and profits. The relation between controlling area to company code is one to many relationship. So one or many company code can be linked to a single controlling area. Okay, like how I've explained just now. All the companies within one controlling area should use same chart of account and fiscal year variant. This is very important. Okay, so whatever the company code we are assigning to controlling area that all companies should use same chart of account. Chart of account, you can see it's a list of the account which need to be followed to mention to manage your accounting entries in a company. And fiscal year variant which is managing your fiscal year, whether it is from April to March or from January to December. Okay, so it should be same in all the companies which are assigned to controlling area. Okay, and now company code. The company code is a central organization unit of external accounting with the system. You must define at least one company code before implementing the financial accounting. So this is a mandatory. So when you are going to use any transactions for the financial accounting, company code has to be defined. The business transaction element in financial accounting are entered, saved and evaluated at company code level always. You usually create a legally independent company in the SAP system with one company code. However, you can also define company code coordinating according to the criteria. Company code could also be separate but not independent commercial place of work. Okay, so understand this line. A company code could also be separate but not independent commercial place of work. So it is having some work inside. This is necessary. For example, a place of work is actually situated in different country and evaluation therefore have to be carried out in appropriate national currency and in accordance with the other tax and legal specifications. So understand, let's say if I'm saying Wipro in India and if Wipro is working in the US also. So because territory is different in that case and currency is also different. So it is recommended to create a separate company code in both the country. So this is moreover technical relevant to your FICO. All these settings will be done by the FICO consultant. It is to just understand how we are going to use controlling area and company code in our system. Then chart of account as I explained the chart of account is a list of the account against which you are going to manage your transactions. The chart of account is a list of financial accounts set up usually by an accountant for an organization and available for use by the bookkeeper for recording transaction and organization's general ledger. So when you are maintaining your accounts in business that all account need to be fixed here. So when I'm saying liability account and equity account, liability account, these codes can be defined. Okay, 2000, 3000, whatever it is, it is as, as per your design, how you are implementing the system. So bonds payable, loan payable, interest payable, these are some of example of account. Okay, and combinedly you are calling it as a chart of account. And this chart of account will be assigned to company code. Fiscal year variant contains the number of position posting period in a fiscal year and the number of a special period. You can have 16 posting period in fiscal year and controlling area maximum. 16 period you can have. You need to specify the fiscal year variant for each company code. So in India, we are following only 12 fiscal year. Sorry, 12 
period, posting periods. Then we understood how we can create a investment program. Okay, so we can use the transaction IM01 to create investment program. We can create top level, top positions in IM11. Just a second, please. Okay, and then next level of positions you can create in IM22. So we have seen in my previous session how we can create. I will show you here in the transaction how it is looking. Okay, so then we'll proceed with the next topic. You come here, this is my program structure. Okay, which is having top level program definition, then top level position, then next level of position, that's it. Only this much of transactions we have executed okay conceptually if you are having any question please let me know ashwin any question yeah ashwin any question please okay So here investment program, okay, how you can create this, you go to accounting and go to investment management. Okay, then go to program here. You can create a investment program, master data here and uh, investment program structure. So investment program definition, I'll show you what we have created in IM02, you can check it. So in previous session, we have created this one. Okay, and uh, if you want to see the complete hierarchy of this program structure, you go to IM22, you can check it here. So this is the investment program and this is approval year, press enter. You can see the structure here. This is infra, robotics, transformer, it is having next level of positions. Okay, so if you want to do any changes in the master data here in the position, you double click here. Okay, you can do the changes. Okay, so let me explain some few more thing here this is assignment and this is a allowed measure this is system and user status okay so here you can manage your system and user status okay this is your user status which is coming here so this is a system status but if you want to manage your object with user status you can use user status also We'll discuss in detail what is the difference between system status and user status. Okay, then assignment. So we can link uh, positions to order that can be network order or plant maintenance order. Sorry, this can be internal order or maintenance order. WBS element you can link or appropriation request you can link. Okay, so you can restrict uh, let's say if you want to assign to WBS element here, you can assign WBS element here. This is the place where you can You can restrict that. What are the object? What are the measures which you are allowing to assign to this position? Okay, so you as a as a responsible person for example for this step up Step up department or a step up transformer manufacturing unit. You are the manager and you are the responsible to manage this uh, position. So in that case, you can say here that I just want to assign, I would like to, uh, I, I will permit to assign only WBS element, not orders or not appropriation request. So here itself, you will change it. You will say WBS element only and save. So once you are saving it, then you will see here assignment only one option. Automatically WBS is coming. Or for example, if you are saying, I just want to permit order also, in that case, you will see two options, not appropriation request. So here is a place based on which you are controlling the permission. Okay. 
and all these things uh, budget distribution organization unit we have seen some initial uh, understanding here okay next uh, let me explain here how you can do the planning okay then we'll see the master data configuration so let me open my ppt here okay so what exactly we are going to see how we can do the planning in program okay so here uh, second so this is investment program okay just see it carefully okay this is the investment program and this is the measure okay what is the measure in investment management we are having three different measures which we can assign to program position and these measures will be used to execute your proposals okay for example in investment management we are approving the proposals let's say appropriation request through appropriation request we are approving it and then we are executing it with reference to your wbs element or internal order okay so here we are using three measures one is a wbs element another is a order and then appropriation request okay so let us see how this exactly program and program structure is helping us to manage our planning values and uh, budget values okay so let's say this is a overall investment which is having business area 1 business area 2 business area 3 you can see these are the different divisions or departments this major this business area is again having measures okay this is also major this is also measure so this major is appropriation request you can compare with appropriation request this is your proposal okay these are your proposals so here you are going to propose some amount let's say it is a 200 you are proposing here 200 here 200 so total is 600 is proposed okay and from business area 500 and 400 is proposed total is coming here 1500 now your higher management is approving only 1200 and they are going to distribute only 1000 so 300 so here how they are uh, distributing 1000 they are distributing overall okay and uh, budget is 1200 so once they are per uh, completing once they are confirming the budget 300 400 300 one second please one second just a so here uh, this this budget then it will be distributed okay then finally it will be distributed to the major and then it will go to the your operative measures like wbs or internal order okay so what we can do let's say if you don't have the measures in picture in that case you can plan the values in position itself okay i have taken the example here when we are rolling up the values from position from from measures to your positions okay but in some of cases you can have positions only and later on whenever you are having requirement of execution of your proposal then only you will create a project or order and will assign to the position okay that is also one scenario so simply to understand this master data take it stand alone you are having program and top level positions and the next level of positions and you can plan the values and positions you can roll up these values and you can propose it for the budget and once it is approved then this budget will be distributed to the position level and then from position it can be distributed to major level so these are your major wbs element in turn order so what it is doing what i am is doing here it is the component provide functions for planning and monitoring of investment budget encompassing many different measures such as cyclical basis of an entire corporate group okay so we'll see this how it is happening in the system <clears throat> this we have already done okay let me explain this one also okay so when we are creating investment program okay this is a program this is a top level position then next level of positions here these are the positions step up step down and here we can create a measures which we can assign to 
last level of positions only. So WBS element, internal order, appropriation request, maintenance order. Okay, here in creation of investment program structure, we can have maximum 99 numbers. System uniquely identify each program positions based on investment program name and approval year. So we can have codes for individual positions. Okay, and position ID that has maximum of 24 characters. So when we are creating any positions, it is checking the code, uniquely identified code with the with the approval year also. Okay, and whenever there is one more important thing here, when we are creating this program structure, whatever the measures we are going to assign, it has to be it it need to be belong to the same controlling area. Okay, investment program management manages all measures that belongs to one controlling area. When the currency and fiscal year variant of all the controlling area agrees with those specified in the program definitions. So here the important which you need to understand here, the currency and fiscal year variant should be the same in all the controlling area. We'll see this. Okay, practically we'll see how it is validating. Okay, that I will let you know how you can do that. But if you have any question, please let me know here. So I'll proceed further. Vishal, Rahul. Yeah, Rama, can you go a couple of slides back? Yes. This one. Can you please explain this one again? See, this I can explain here. Okay, this is the same slide, same understanding. Okay. So let's say you are already having some master data. Okay, this is your investment program structure where you are doing the planning. Okay, so there are two ways to do the planning. You can directly plan in the position level. So I can enter 1000, 2000, 1000, this 4000 on a specific position level. Okay, then these values will be rolled up and here it will show you 8000. Okay. Or what you can do, you can assign your measures, let's say WBS element to this position or this position. So whatever amount you are planning in the WBS element that you can roll up. When you are selecting, when you are assigning any WBS element or order or appropriation request to it means you are submitting your proposals or project which you have already approved to execute. So only difference, Sometimes in some of organization, they just want to go with the department wise. They used to ask, okay, let us know your five years plan and you submit your budget. So individual division department has to submit their budget that I need 100,000, I need 200,000 for five years, I need 3,000, 300,000 for six years, but they will have all the, all the supportings in the Excel form format or, or some uh, word format based on that approval has to be taken from the management and will be submitted. But if you want to manage it, that whatever the proposals or the initiative you are going to start in five years, you want to manage it in the SAP, then you can use appropriation request or measures. So here you can roll up these values from here also. So once it is rolled up, then next, it will be available here for the budget. Okay, let's say totally 8,000 you are getting and management will sit they will check that 8,000 they have taken little more so better to approve it 80% of 8,000. Okay, so 80% of 8,000 640,000. Sorry, 6,400. So 6,400 will be approved and then will be it will be distributed further. Okay, so this will be controlled here. You can distribute to individual position level and from this position it will be distributed further. So this will be the budget control on position and it has to be managed from there itself. Clear? Yeah, so the planning is top down, the budgeting is bottom up. Uh, sorry, planning is bottom up. Planning is budgeting bottom is up and down. budget is top down. Yeah. Always, this is the concept. In PS, it is the concept. Yeah. And even internal order, also it is the, it is the concept. Everywhere is the same concept. Yeah, okay. thank you.
<clears throat> okay, so when you are going with the first approach, you just want to plan the values in position level. How you can do that? That is the next thing which we need to understand here. So, in other words, I can say the planning in program structure. Okay, that is the next step. So, how we can manage? There is a transaction here. You can plan the values in IM35. You can display in IM36 and budgeting you can in IM32 and you can display in IM33. So we'll see both the transactions how you can manage in system. I hope I am not fast. This is okay. It's okay for you. Please let me know because. Rahul, Ashwin. No, no. Okay. So come back here. Uh, I'm in program. Okay, and here uh, you go to the program planning. I am 35. You click here. Okay, and here you need to enter the investment program position ID approval year, and then version. So here in SAP. I am we are having different version so you can plan your values in different version version one version zero version two version three but this settings has to be done in the configuration that which program type is linked with which version okay so here i can do it for version one or version zero i'll keep it for version zero directly not a problem okay so version zero is your current version so version is nothing you are just creating a copy of your plan values with reference to controlling area version. Okay, so here press enter. You can select here overall or for individual years, you can plan the values. Okay, let's say uh, if you want to plan the values for uh, step up and step down or robotics. Okay, so it has to be total up. Okay, so let's say for coming uh, 2022 23 or 24 i will plan some values so let's say for a step up 3000 and for this 4000 i'm planning okay and uh, trans this is step up and step down is a part of transformer so for robotics i will plan some values separately 50000 then select all go to edit total up okay then let's say for 23 also i'm planning some values in 23 i will plan some let's say 5000 only for a step down and go to edit total up then go to overall and here you need to accumulate the values Okay, I'll let you know what is the meaning of cumulative here. Copy view, you need to go to copy view. Okay, then cumulative. So what are the steps? You need to select overall, you need to select all, go to edit, go to copy view and go to cumulative. Then overwrite 100%, okay. You select this and check this if any error is there. No error, you can save these values. So what we are doing here, as this program is for five years, right? This program we are doing the five years. So we should get individual years, five next years to plan our values like 2022, 23, 24, 25, like this. So these individual year wise we are planning, and then all these values has to be cumulative, means it has to be added for the overall. Okay. So this is your choice whether you want to keep overall option or not. It can be controlled based on the configuration. So in that case, your amount which you are planning that will be restricted only for years. But here in the overall option, you are getting the cumulative values. First thing, second thing, let's say your cumulative values are coming 100,000, but some amount 10,000 you want, you want to use in any years. Okay, so what you can do, you can plan one ten thousand here. So hundred thousand, the values is coming from the cumulative 
from the years and 10,000 is spared to use in any years as per your choice. So what is the here? What is the calculation? Overall amount always it will be equal or more than of your cumulative year amount. It will not be less than your cumulative amount. Okay. So this is the year validation. Similarly, when you are planning the values in a particular year, your total amount, total of value has to be equal or more than of your all consecutive values from its structure. Okay. It will never be less than of your total values of subordinate objects. So these two things need to be managed here. Once it is done, then you can check your values here. Okay, then save it. So let's say in place of 62,000, if you want to say that I just want to plan uh, overall 72,000 for this system will allow me okay you can check it system is allowing me if you are saying no I just want to see 52,000 let me see how system system is giving me error because it's less than of your total 62,000 okay so this has to be managed here Okay, and these all details you can check here in information system. Here information system, you will see investment management programs. Here you can check the data. Let me see monitor available to plan values. You can see these values. So how it is coming in 2022 and 20, 000, uh, 2023, how we have planned and overall values. So you can see in the report also. Now, what will happen? One second, please, one second. Here, uh, let's see how you can transfer these values, how you can approve these values as a budget. So what you need to do, you come here, in budgeting, okay, go to original, edit original budget, I am 32. Okay, I am 32. So here, investment program, position ID, that is the top level position ID, and approval year, you enter and press enter. Then, you will see here plan total values. These are values are coming from plan total. So there are two ways to plan the budget. You can directly enter the values here, year wise by selecting the years, same as we have entered in the plan cost. Okay, similarly, you can enter or uh, and the same steps you can follow here. Okay, and system will not check whether this is more than or less than plan total. Second way, the best practice, you just need to copy this plan total values here and you need to decide how much you are going to select as a budget. So let's say in 2022, select all, go to edit, copy view. We are going to plan, we are going to copy plan total and how much percentage. Let's say I'm saying in 2022, I will approve only 90% of your proposed amount. And in 2023, I will approve only Copy view, plan total, let's say 80% of your proposed amount. So this is coming here. Now you need to go to overall. 
so now next same you select here go to edit go to copy view and say cumulative 100 percent here now you will see the values here and then you can check for the error no error you can save it so this is your budget now now this budget is going to be distributed so whenever you are assigning any measures to this position you can distribute the available budget from this position through through this id uh, default plan values budgeting through this transaction uh, budget distribution i am 52 we will see this also how this will work but before that we need to understand a few more things here you have any question please let me know surama so, uh, rahul yeah. sir so according to you that uh, uh, we have plan value 62000 and we can distribute budget more than 62000 according to you right you cannot distribute more than 52000 but like my plan value is 52000 then how can i like uh, see i'm i'm not saying distribute i'm saying you can plan the budget more than your plan values okay plan cost distribution is something when you are distributing from top to down mm -hmm. so whatever you are having total values in your object that will be validated the system will not allow to distribute more than what you are having correct that's what my question like mm. yeah so plan is independent table you can see technically the tables are different it is nowhere interlinked system will not check you have planned the budget more than plan values no system will allow to take the more than plan values also so when i'm saying plan value it means it is a plan cost when i'm saying plan budget it means it's a plan budget and what is the difference between plan cost and plan budget in 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 uh, business in if you go in construction industries they used to call plan cost always or your plan values they don't or they are saying plan budget only okay so technically the difference whatever the values you are planning that will come as a cost plan but whatever values you will approve that will come in budget so approved plan values used to call as a plan budget okay okay mm -hmm. and do we have uh, also background table also like where we can see the data yeah, yeah we, we are having okay okay so now let us see some configuration here because better to go with the parallel mm -hmm. So to see the configuration, you go to SPRO and go to investment management here. Investment management here. And you go to investment program, go to master data and program type. So when we are creating program definition, we are selecting program type. This is the profile which we need to configure. Okay. And uh, when you want to con configure, you click here in the define program type. Okay, you can see it here. So in a standard system, you will see triple one, triple zero one sample capital investment program. And uh, my one do investment program for training, I have created it. Okay, you click here, go to you double click here. This is the budget profile. This is the planning profile. So your program type is the master profile. You can see which is having assignment of multiple different profile like budget profile planning profile status profile object class investment profile these all profile individually has to be created and need to be assigned it here okay as per requirement so planning profile is helping us to control your planning values budget profile is helping us to uh, control budget values status profile for status management and object class is for reporting and the controlling and investment profile you can manage to create AUC asset under construction when you are doing the planning 
budget planning and when you are going to distribute the budget if you want to distribute your overall budget you need to select this option if you want to distribute your annual budget you need to select this option okay you cannot have only option of overall so if you are selecting only overall this has to be selected this is a dependent entry here in this system we are having option to assign the single measure so let's say if you want to assign only one measure to one position then you need to select this one this is for exchange rate type in standard we are having exchange rate type m standard but if you want to have something different as per your requirement you can enter it here assignable operative object so here we are having option to restrict for a particular object assignment like how we were having at position level so here also one more option is given okay so here if you are controlling here no need to control there but if you are including three here and you want to just uh, keep it one option or two option there so you will have additional functionality available there in the position okay now coming to the planning profile and budget profile also so here how you can manage it go to planning in program and budgeting in program i'll explain this one. cost planning go to maintain planning profile here this profile we are using for planning okay so here when we are assigning we need to create a if you are using total values means overall values if you go in im35 you will see there okay you can select overall values so if you want to see that option you want to use overall value you need to select this if you want to use annual also you need to select this in past how many years you want to consider for planning and future how many years that's why system was taking some back dated also back years i'll show you here im35 So when I'm coming here, you can see it here. Okay, we are in 22. So I think we are in 22, one, two, three. Our system is considering three in past. Hmm. Oh, that is a different, I think program type is different. Let me check what is this program type. Go to IM02. What is this program type? Program type 001 and this program type is having which i am so this is my planning profile need to come here go to maintain planning profile this one so here in past in two future in three why it is coming so, 35 why it is coming okay i'll check it it should be like future past it should be three and future it should be two then only it will be correct okay here exchange rate type m and uh, value date if you want to have some specific exchange rate type and values from that particular date you want to keep it separate and then you can enter this value date controlling area currency project currency transaction currency i'll explain once we'll move to project okay this will be more relevant to explain it here okay decimal places and scaling factor decimal places you can maintain here if you want to plan your values in decimals okay scaling factor let's say your values uh plan values are very like uh, devaluated values where the currency is very devaluated and you are planning the values man say like say uh, 10 million 100 million so where field is not able to accept these uh numbers in that case you can use a scaling factor to manage this and then you need to assign this profile to assign program type to planning profile this is the step okay so here we are linking with program type to plan profile next same way we need to define the budgeting in program define budget profile for investment program you see it here 
same exactly same this profile is also same total values annual values past future start exchange rate type everything is the same no difference okay just we have created it we will see more relevant configuration in coming sessions okay and uh, maybe uh, i will revise the same sessions in my uh, coming uh, session okay because i was waiting for some participants maybe because of some other issues they couldn't join this session so if you have any question please let me know